بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما firewall overview so in this video we'll see what is firewall and then we'll try to understand what are the basic reasons to have a firewall and then we'll also talk about modern firewall design so definition wise a firewall is a system or a group of systems that manages the access between two or more different networks now a technically firewall is actually a device which will uh, manage the traffic between two or more different networks like uh, technically if you if you take an example here the wall and the fire now the wall actually refers to uh, which is going to control what traffic is allowed to pass through like here you got a firewall here and i got the user sitting in my lan so this is my lan local area network and it is also connecting to my internet which is my outside network and also there are some dmzs where i am placing my ftp or http servers technically placed here so my 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 rule is uh, my what i want is i want to make sure that the user sitting in the lan should be able to access internet that's what i want at the same time the user sitting on the internet should not be able to access anything on my lan so which means traffic uh, distance from internet to lan should be restricted at the same time i want the user sitting on the internet should also be able to access my servers uh, maybe the traffic from the servers may go to internet and also the lan users should be able to access the servers so like that so i want to define some specific rules and the traffic should flow between these different networks uh, based on the rules and that's what exactly the wall job is it's going to control what traffic is allowed we are going to define what traffic is allowed what traffic should not be allowed we'll control that at the same time this wall is actually having some uh, it's like a fire is nothing but it's a technically we say all the traffic which is actually moving between my lan to internet or anything coming from everything is inspected and inspected means based on the some policies so we'll also configure some security policies and based on the security policies the traffic is allowed or denied so all the traffic is inspected like i want to make sure that the user sitting in the lan should send a request to my http server something on the internet maybe google yahoo at the same time return traffic should be coming but at the same time if an attacker is trying to initiate a traffic it should be denied so this firewall is going to ensure that uh, because there are two types of traffic uh, traffic coming from the outside one is initiated by the attacker the other one is return traffic so the firewall should have the capability to inspect uh, which traffic is a return traffic which traffic is initiated by the attacker so it's going to do that based on some kind of security policies will apply and it also it, al it also maintains some other information we'll talk about that in detail in the next next topics so firewall is generally configured between trusted and untrusted boundaries especially from the lan to internet because uh, any traffic coming on the internet is uh, typically referred as untrusted traffic because we don't trust anything coming from the internet and the traffic which is initiated or coming from the lan is considered as a trusted traffic because we trust the traffic in the lan so probably uh, we, between this traffic whatever is going coming and going it should be monitored or it should be inspected so so we need a firewall between that and the main scope scope of the uh, firewall is to control the traffic coming from the internet especially from the internet we want to restrict what traffic should be allowed what traffic should not be allowed uh, into the lan or into the dmz network like that so the next thing is uh, the reasons uh, there are multiple reasons for uh, configuring the firewall so every organization requires a firewall because you, security is uh, the most important thing uh, in general apart from maintaining the networks so all your internal networks must be uh, secure because we need to make sure that any traffic coming from the internet should not uh, should not be vulnerable so it 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 any attacker cannot should not be able to initiate any kind of uh, traffic or may, should not access anything on the internet on the lan or on the dmz's any unauthorized access should be restricted so firewall uh, restrict that by by based on some policies what we configure and of course because the internet is a danger place where you have all the criminals competing companies or some ex employees or some spies you know these are all the reasons you know on the internet every everyone is there watching your watching your traffic 
So to prevent the attacker from launching any kind of denial of service attacks, because an attacker can actually initiate some kind of denial of service attacks onto my server, making my server down, or maybe maybe my router down, or maybe any kind of services may get impacted. So and also to prevent any illegal or modification of your data, like uh, something like unauthorized access, uh, to prevent any unauthorized access into my network. Now most of the firewall designs, uh, generally the, the basic design includes three components, like three uh, segments we can say, three different uh, networks. Like the first one is internal LAN, so where all your end users are connected, like uh, end users, endpoints, everyone connected in the LAN and accessing some services from the servers. And the second one, uh, typically we call it as inside network. Uh, we can also refer it as LAN or we can say just IN or we can say trusted network, any names you can use. Uh, typically the, the most common name what we use is inside but, but, it, it's, not, but it's not compulsory to use uh, compulsory as inside. And then outside network is typically referring to internet, internet which is untrusted network. So this is referred as my outside network and the LAN is always referred as your inside network. And the DMZ is a place where you're going to uh, place some servers. And because you, DMZ is like a place where you want the users sitting on the internet, maybe the user sitting here on the internet should be able to access the servers. Uh, maybe you're hosting some FTP servers or some kind of mail servers on the internet. Because, because technically it's not good to place your server in the LAN. Because if you place the server in the LAN, and you want the user sitting on the internet to access this server, he, he must enter into the LAN. So which means while accessing the server, he can also introduce some other attacks into the into the LAN. So it's a best practice always to keep your servers in a separate network, in a separate VLAN or separate network segment. So where the user should be able to access those servers. So if any kind of attack happens, it, it will impact only this, this one, not it. So the attacker cannot initiate any attacks into the LAN because most of the traffic from the internet to the LAN we generally restrict. So DMZ is like uh, uh, in between the LAN and the WAN. It's not trusted. Uh, it's not even considered as untrusted uh, somewhere in between the LAN and outside. 